Hello Barbie lovers and doll lovers. In this video, we're going to look at these 12 Barbies that I got all in one shot. Such a good deal online. I paid about $20 US for each of these dolls, so per doll. And what I'm really excited about, well, to be real, I'm excited about everyone, but Earring Magic was in this haul, yes, yes. And the first girl that I noticed and wanted to pick up was Movin Groovin Kira. So I've actually been in and out of eBay trying to get this girl because I did want a Kira doll. I had to have an Asian girl, but she's like Hawaiian American, right? So is that Asian? Is Hawaiian Asian? <laughs> okay, a melting pot of North American and East Asian cultures. That's what I just looked up. <laughs> I'm terrible, but yeah. Found her. Her box is kind of crazy, but I'll actually be unboxing. And I know, I know there's gonna be some of you out there they're gonna be like, don't take them out of their boxes. But I, I gotta play with them. And some of them have fabric that I'm worried about. Like this Disney fun girl, this jacket is, is gonna peel if I don't get some protective fabric glue on her soon. So I don't wanna make this video like super long and boring, but I do wanna show you these girls. I do want to show you their boxes. I'm going to unbox all of these girls in a series of videos. So we're going to do three, 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 and three. So it's going to be four separate videos. This is just an intro to the dolls that I got. And this is actually only list one. So she had about 600 Barbies um, available for purchase. Oh my gosh, this little compact looks so cute. So do these boots. Oh my goodness, I'm freaking out. And um, I had to prioritize because I obviously wasn't going to pick up like 12, 12, 24, 48 dolls um, all in one go. I just didn't have the budget for that at the moment. So I kind of prioritized. I spent like four hours um, over the course of a week uh, looking through all of her listings and I narrowed it down to these 12 being the first 12 that I absolutely had to have. So most of these dolls are like 90 releases. These girls are really cool. They're the Barbie sharing sisters and they come with some pieces that are interchangeable. So this will be my first um, Skipper doll and my first Stacy doll. So really excited about that. I absolutely love 80s, 90s Barbies for these hot pink boxes. I do want to keep them in their boxes, but I totally don't because I love photographing dolls and playing with them and posing them. So they're going to have to come out of their boxes. Uh, some of the backs of these boxes just have some really great, um, you know, doll photography and uh, some of them have more than others. Obviously this is a, a special pack of three dolls. So it's showing you like the multiple combinations of outfits. Oh, I love this outfit. Super, super cute. So some of these boxes are a little dusty. I'm going to wipe them down because the boxes are going to go in storage. This is actually the first uh, skipper that I noticed. There were two skippers that I wanted in her collection um, and they were both like beach ones. I liked her blue outfit. I actually have the Glitter Beach uh, Barbie, but um, she didn't have any of her original fashion. She had her necklace, but I took it off of her and she's in a different outfit. Her hair is also horrid, but she's quite a tan Barbie and uh, she's also really tan as well, but I just loved her blue and her green eyes. She looks so, so cute. And yeah, her face is adorable. Her face actually just really reminds me of Lika Chan, just like the roundedness and like the kind of like bubbly cheeks. And yeah, I'm really excited to uh, see what her hair is like. This is actually the Glitter Beach Barbie. And uh, yeah, her hair was in really bad condition. Somebody had cut it and it was like all these different lengths. So I tried to curl it, but it kind of, I don't know. I don't know if I'm loving it. I might re, I'm totally going to reroute her when the time comes. She also had some stains on her legs. She's a thrift store Barbie. So after I washed her, I did her hair. Then I kind of just like made this dress from like just some random things that I had this was from one Barbie fashion. This is from another Barbie fashion. I didn't like either of the fashions. So I try to like put them together to make like an 80s prom dress. But I don't think it's quite like fitting her vibe. So I'm going to have to like change her up altogether. This is kind of funny because she's got like this heavy makeup. But she's supposed to be like a beach Barbie. Which I find kind of funny. But I really do like her heavy makeup. So I'll have to come up with an outfit style for her later on. 
I'm thinking like an oversized shirt and like some sort of tight skirt. So this was the only 2000s Barbie that I got. I actually really love this face mold. I got a Happen in Hair Barbie who has a, the same face mold. I believe it's the generation, right? But there are some generation that I, that I don't like. But I thought she was really cute. She's got like the 60s looking dress. She's got these adorable pink boots. And yeah, I love this picture of um, the matching three on the back. It would be so great to have all three of these. But yeah, super, super cute. And these two girls are just gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. She looks a little different on the back uh, uh, than her. She looks like her lip color looks like a little bit darker, probably just a contrast change. But yeah, we're groove into the fashion beat on Sunshine Street. Yeah, super 60s vibe. Okay, I was gonna like major glare here, so I'm just turning that, tilting this. I think these two girls are friends. I feel like they are our are, are homegirls, are besties. Uh, they are fashion. It's just like so 90s, early 90s. And yeah, they are so, so chic. And I kind of got them uh, because I wanted to see them uh, photographed together. I love this camera. I actually saw her on Instagram. Somebody photographed her uh, by the sea and she is sea holiday uh, Barbie. And then she's got this great little poodle. And yeah, I'm just really curious to see uh, what these outfits are like because I find some of the Barbie clothes are like a little bit um like the quality of the fabrics and stuff aren't like comparable to comparing to pull up they're not like the greatest quality of course these are lower price point dolls when we're talking about like pull up and Delphi Dream and Blythe and and other doll brands um like Lika Chan also is like a lower price point doll and her her clothing fashion some of them are like leaves something to be desired but these two outfits gosh I wish I had this jacket um I'm just really curious to get my hands on them the outside of her box is really special and um when I split up the video so when I do the four videos of the unboxings you'll get to see um like the entire box and a little bit more details of the boxes because I love doll boxes and yeah we gotta look at like every last little detail and like good lighting um my upstairs vibe is not as nice or as like fun as my downstairs vibe but I'll probably unbox these girls in the daylight because daylight is just really where it's at for looking at dolls especially for doll uh, videos okay so here we have Teresa jewelry fun my first Barbie so I actually found this dress on Etsy and I have it on a doll already um and this is one of my favorite Barbie fashion so I was actually thinking that I wanted like the actual doll again and I could just have like another doll that had the dress um but now I have Teresa so I was, I was thinking of, of tracking down my first Barbie jewelry fun Barbie but now I have Teresa and she is equally beautiful and great she comes with this cute little box and this little tiara and yeah I'm really excited to have her in my collection uh she She's got purple eyes. The Teresa that I have has brown eyes and they're just slightly different, um, different years. Um, they're, the texture of their body also looks like a little bit different. Even like the, the color of their skin tone looks a little bit different as well. So I'm curious to see what they'll look like side by side once I get her out of her box. We've got Disney Fun Barbie. So this is the second edition. She actually had two uh, Disney Fun uh, Barbies. I wonder if the other one was the first edition, but I just fell in love with this jacket. So, so adorable, as well as the skirt and just the whole outfit. The hat is um, something that is so nostalgic to me because I remember having a hat just like this from my first visit to Disneyland. Does anybody remember these hats? And yeah, it's gonna be really fun opening her up too. Um, I did put the other Disney fun, I think in my second list. So I don't know how soon I'm gonna be able to get that second list of Barbies. I do have a crystal gem show coming up that I'm selling um, some crystals at. So fingers crossed, I'll be, uh, you know, getting uh, that second list Again, I, 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 was, I was meaning to say for Japan, but uh, Barbie is just kind of like taking over my life at the moment. Okay, she is just stunning. Like, I have to talk about her face. Wow, her earrings. She is an absolute stunner. Her necklace, her bathing suit, everything about her is, is just, wow, I want to... Wow, I want to be this girl. <laughs> I want to be this girl. It says Barbie is scented. So I'm actually curious because it kind of looks like 
I don't know. I'm like, what are these? It kind of looks like there's some like little crusties there. Maybe the glue. I don't know. Is there actually something in that little bottle? What is going? Flower fragrance. Oh, it's flower fragrance for me. Are these like supposed to be little flowers? Okay. <gasps> she is definitely a showstopper. And yeah, I would, I would love to be her at the beach. Gotta love the boxes so you could see what everybody looked like. So I wonder if the other Skipper doll she had was this one. I think it might have been this one. Oh my goodness. Oh, Kira looks so pretty too. Oh my goodness. I gotta go back. I gotta go back and check my list because she only had... I think she only had two skippers. They, these were the two skippers I was attracted to. And I think the other one she had was this one. Okay, so this one's a Walmart Barbie. So I guess they've been doing that for a while because I know there was like a Walmart exclusive Barbie extra. Um, I originally chose her because of her long hair, but I love her face up. Her eyes kind of remind me um, a little bit of like the Happen and Hair Barbie. Like her eyes look a little different uh, from some of the uh, earlier 90s superstar sculpt so she's in 1996 and yeah her hair is so long she's got these like little fun bows but she also has this cute tiara and she's got just ever so lightly a pastel blue um eyeshadow and then like a little bit of purple in her eyes and yeah I'm, I'm i'm really really excited about her her face is so sweet she's a total sweetheart she also has these purple tights and yeah, I want to see her shoes. Hey, her, she's got some outfits here. She's got a workout outfit, a bathing suit, her sleeping outfit, a dress. And I don't know what, is that a visor? Oh my gosh, a hot pink visor. She's got a great face up, just a beautiful girl. Um, you know, sometimes the, the paint, the makeup is just on uh, like a little better than others. And her hair is fabulous too. Um, I love all of these outfits, but especially this outfit. And uh, it says over 14 fabulous pieces, eight exciting looks. So we'll have fun uh, putting together these eight looks. And yeah, she just really caught my eye right away. She's fashion bright. Oh, here's the little outfits. Oh my goodness. Yes, fabulous fashion flair, 1992. Okay, so last, but definitely not least, maybe the best for last. Ah, that's hard to say. There can't really be a best here because everybody is so fabulous. I'm really curious about this because it says it comes with a software pad. What the heck? Glamorous, like, what is it, a floppy disk? Mall, crestful. Okay, I cannot wait to open this. So I was really curious because I was looking at her online and I saw this shrink wrap. And this is like the actual packaging of the doll. I thought that maybe... The doll had like plastic and then somebody had put the shrink wrap over top. Oh my God. It's got a Radio Shack. Radio Shack? Whoa, that is a blast from the past. But yeah, she is so cute. Fridge, I love, love, love her little earrings. I like the hearts more than I like the suns, but still really cute. Um, And her hair looks like it's crimped really fun. I'm wondering, I have another doll that has crimped hair and I've been trying to figure out who she is, uh, which doll she is, but she's definitely not earring magic. So yeah, I don't know who I'm going to unbox. I'm really leaning towards unboxing the Sharon sisters and Tropical Splash. So I think for sure it'll be those two. And then let's have a little bit of fun. Comment below the third doll box that you'd like to see me unbox in the next video. Uh, hopefully can get around to it uh, sooner than later and check out for that video. If you haven't already subscribed to this channel, it's a lot of doll stuff. Um, sometimes I talk about anime, sometimes I talk about manga, and sometimes I cosplay. I also sometimes post a little bit of dance. So there's just a little bit of everything that I love on this channel, and I would love to chat with you. Don't be shy. Drop a line in the comments below about anything at all. I reply to every single comment on this channel, and be sure to hit me up on my socials. I post my doll photography on Instagram, and I'm very, very active on TikTok. Enjoy playing with your dolls this week, and thank you so much for watching.